I'm Derek with WeBoost. Today I'm going to show you how to do a custom install in your vehicle. Now we'll be doing this in a hatchback car, but the same process is going to work in a car, a truck, an RV, any sort of vehicle. You'll just have to tweak it for your specific vehicle. Today we're going to be installing the Drive 4G X. And we know all cars are not going to be the same, but we hope this gives you an idea of what it takes to do a custom install, and then you can get some ideas and tweak it for your vehicle. So let's get started. With any signal booster, you'll have three main components. The signal booster itself, the outside antenna, the inside antenna, and then you'll have a power supply to power it up. If you've got one of our cradle boosters, the inside antenna and the booster are combined into one piece, so you'll only need to install two components. Now before you get started, I recommend doing a soft install. What that means is basically making sure that everything's going to fit. Put the booster where you're going to install it, and then run the cords out to where you're going to put the outside antenna and the inside antenna, and make sure you've got enough cord and enough spacing to do everything right. Once you're ready, then go ahead and install the outside antenna. Make sure that it's at least a foot away from any other antennas and from any windows or the sunroof. Then you can take the cord and run it inside to where you're going to put the booster. So what I'm going to do is install the antenna here and then run the cord straight back to try and hide it as much as possible and then run it down here under the hatchback door. So what you can do is pull down the weather stripping from your vehicle and then tuck the cable down underneath. So I'm just going to run it right along here between the body of the vehicle and this lining and then this ridge here goes all the way towards the front of the vehicle and it's flexible enough I can just tuck the cable right in there without even having to pull anything apart. And now just put our weather stripping back in place and press it back in like it was. Alright so I pulled the weather stripping down from this window and then I've just run the cable from the back of the car forward along this ridge line here, just tucking it in as I go. So now I'm just going to keep doing that all the way across here, over to the side, and then down this uh, panel here. Seatbelt. Just tuck it up underneath the paneling. So now we're going to install our inside antenna. I've decided to mount it up in this cavity here, so it's close to where I put my phone, and then I'll run the cable back under the seat where I'm going to install it. I'll use this included Velcro strip to adhere it back here, and then if I need to, I can take it off and pull it out so it's closer to the phone or I can put it somewhere else. So I've removed these two screws so that I can access under here. And now I've just got to work the wire back underneath and back under the seat where I'll install the booster. Okay, so now to install the power supply. There's a power outlet here in this center console, but unfortunately, there's a cup holder that slides up underneath the bottom. So I can't just run the cord up through this hole and plug it in. So what I'm gonna do is drill a small hole just big enough for the cord and then make a notch so that I can run the cord up through the bottom and then plug the power supply in and leave room for the cup holder. Okay, so we've run our power supply from the cigarette lighter here down underneath here. And then we've got all of our cables right here ready to connect to the booster. So all that's left is for us to connect the antennas to the booster. So just connect the antenna connection to the proper connector on the booster. And then plug in the power supply and 
I'm going to use some zip ties and mount it up underneath the seat and out of sight. So there you go. I hope this has been helpful in showing you how a custom install is done. And hopefully you got some ideas and tips on how you can incorporate this into your vehicle. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer those and help you out in any way that we can. And if you've got ideas for future videos, please let us know that as well. Subscribe to our channel as we'll be releasing videos like this every week. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time.